This is Tom and his five-year-old son, Ethan. Ethan has autism and sometimes engages in behaviors he doesn't understand. Tom has been working with a BCBA to help him understand Ethan's behavior since sometimes the behavior is pretty unsafe. The BCBA works with Tom to choose a behavior to target first. They decide they want to understand Ethan's jumping since this behavior poses the greatest risk to safety. She asks him to collect ABC data. The BCBA explains that the antecedent is what happens right before the behavior. The behavior is whatever Ethan does that we want to learn more about. And the consequence is what happens immediately after the behavior. She tells him not to get fancy or write too much. Just keep it simple. The first opportunity for Tom to collect ABC data occurred one night when Tom was making dinner. Ethan was in the other room watching TV, so Tom wasn't sure what happened. Rather than write down that he wasn't watching Ethan, he decided maybe the antecedent was him making dinner. Although Tom didn't see what started it, he could clearly see as Ethan launched himself from the couch. This was the behavior they were trying to learn more about. Tom responded the way he always did when Ethan engaged in frustrating behavior. Although he's not proud of it, he yelled at Ethan to stop. He really just needed to get food on the table so they could finish with the rest of their routine. Tom made a note on the ABC data sheet the BCBA left behind for him. He wrote down the antecedent behavior and consequence, then set the paper aside until the behavior happened again. The next opportunity came at bedtime that night. Tom tucked Ethan in as he always did and then walked away. The behavior this time was Ethan jumping off the bed. Tom rushed in when he heard the noises coming from Ethan's room. Seeing Ethan perched precariously on the edge of his bed, Tom instinctively yelled, stop. Once he has Ethan settled in bed again, he heads to the kitchen and jots down what happened. He's ready for bed himself, but decides that this is worth the minute it takes to make the note. The third incident happened when Tom was sitting at his desk filling out some paperwork for Ethan's school. He only needed a minute, but it seems as though that's all it takes. In this incident, Ethan jumped off the bookcase in Tom's office. Tom's not quite sure how he managed to scale it in such a short amount of time, but Ethan sailed off the top of the bookcase as Tom watched in horror. This incident again had Tom yelling for Ethan to stop jumping. Tom recognized this as the consequence in this situation. When Ethan was busy playing with his trains, Tom took a minute to jot down what happened on the ABC data sheet. He now had enough data to see a pattern emerging. This would help him understand why Ethan jumped and help the BCBA know what to do to change the behavior.